Next fight, Pablo, Pablo Sabori takes on Levi Saul Marroquin. Paolo has a one-inch reach advantage. He's four years older than Levi. Height all the same. Damas y caballos, continuamos con el siguiente combate aquí en Combate Américas. Este duelo, tres vueltas en la división peso pluma. This bout, three rounds in the featherweight division. Los jueces, the judges. David Holtz, Manuel Gallareta y Miguel Reyes, el referee. Jason Herzog. Presentando la esquina azul, vestido de azul con rojo y blanco. Introducing the blue corner. Wearing blue with red and white trim, he weighed in. At 145 and three quarter pounds, su peso oficial. 145 libras y tres cuartos. He enters the jaula for the eighth time as a pro with a record of seven victories and one defeat. Sube la jaula por octava vez a nivel profesional con siete victorias y una derrota. De Monterrey, Nuevo León. Levi Saúl, el negro marroquí. En la esquina roja, in the red corner, vestido de negro con camuflaje y blanco, wearing black with camouflage and white trim. Su peso oficial, 144 libras y media, his official weight, 144 and one half pounds. En nueve combates dentro de la jaula, mantiene un récord de seis victorias y tres derrotas. After entering La Jaula nine times as a pro, he has six victories against three losses. Puro Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. El Gallo Negro, Pablo Sabore. Fighters got on the rules in the back. There are no final questions from you. No final question for you. Just close if you want. Come on, ready to fight. Zavori, seven and three First is his record. Right. Gallo Negro has a lot of fight. fans here in Tijuana. We are underway. They touch gloves. Zavori, the taller fighter in black. Levy, Saul Marroquin in the blue. Southpaw stands for him. Shorter, compact fighter. He is 7-1 as a professional, is Marroquin. Paolo said their styles are going to clash big time. Knows this is a tough fight. Both opponents know that the other one likes to scrap. So they're both ready for a, a war. Down. And Levy loves to stand up, and he's looking for a knockout. But he's won most of his fights via submission. He loves the style of Dominic Cruz. And uh, he's, he's also fought in multiple divisions, which you can tell, because he looks ginormous. Yes, he does. He's strong looking. Nice, 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 beautiful takedown. Tavori from San Luis Rio, Colorado, Sonora, about two hours away. He now lives in Tijuana for the last three years. Interim gym is where he's training at. Also trains at Alliance in San Diego. Turned pro in 2012. But he loves the Entrum family so much that he got the tattoo on his bicep. But because that feels like home, they're always with him. Started as a boxer, this Savori. So that's one of his advantages, but he was bored. This is uh, Paolo's Combate America's debut. He needs to uh, get his hips away. Scoot your hips out. It's a nice uh, whizzer. If I could see him go for a left arm underhook. No, nope. nice, he's finally securing the back and that looks, uh, if he can get that other hook in, that'd be great. He needs to get that other hook in, Levy. There it is. Going for it, nope. There it is. He's gonna try to go in for a body triangle now. Beautifully done looking for that choke. He's got plenty of time to work. He's got about two minutes, 30 seconds. Marroquin started MMA at the age of 13. Most of the fighters on the card tonight are actually in Mexico, have come to the sport later on as the sport is growing in the country of Mexico and in Latin America. You hear guys, when you come to it, they're, they're in their 20s. So Marroquin 
with eight years of experience of training, that's an advantage for him. I don't, I, I, I don't like how uh, Levy was crossing his feet when he had those double uh, hooks in, but now he's worked to a figure four tri body triangle. It's a little bit shorter though, so he can't lock it in all the way. But it's doing enough so that he can work his ground and pound. It's he's working. Pounded. Oh, Paolo oh. shakes him right off top. He was too hungry, too heavy on the forward end. He's got a big guillotine head and arm there. But I don't think it's uh, deep enough or tight enough in order to uh, stop the fight. Tom look on the face of Levi Saul Marroquin. Looks like he's going to try to to turn him over with it. There it is. Paolo is out. Gets a nice shoulder pressure there with, from Paolo. He's trying to work his own ground and pound. These guys are both very strong. Looking for the passes, uh, Paolo, but uh, Levy's trying to go for a Kimura, but these guys are slippery. He slips right out of it. On his feet is Le uh, Paolo. Goes right into half guard. He can work that pass. Maybe he can uh, get into mount, work some ground and pound of his own. Less than a minute to go in the opening round. Three five-minute rounds. You're watching Paolo Gallo Negro Sabori against Levy Saul Marroquin. Nice shoulder pressure by uh, Paolo. He's working to get that uh, ground and pound in, trying to create some space with the cross base. 30 seconds to go in the round. He's got Levy El Negro flattened, like right straight on his back. He's trying to work for the pass a lot. It's, it's not, he's finally got it. He's in full mount. Levy is so strong, he just kicks him right off. Compact muscles on him. Good kick. Final seconds of the opening round. A good one between Pablo Sabori, Levy Marroquin. Combate 12 in Tijuana, Mexico. Nice round. Who'd you give it to? That's a tough one. I agree. I think Marroquin did a little bit more of the controlling. Pablo Savori right. making his Combate right. Americas debut. Levy Marroquin is 0-1 inside La Jaula. Combate 12 in Tijuana, Mexico. The next one for Combate Americas, April 20th in Tucson, Arizona. Levy said uh, that you know, MMA is starting to become more popular where he's from. And when he first started, they, they made fun of him and they said, oh, MMA, that's when you uh, pull hair and bite each other. Huh. And, and, and now he's starting to kind of become the talk of the town. MMA has gotten a lot popular where he's from and, and he's kind of walking with a little bit more pride as far as telling everybody that he's an MMA fighter. And uh, now everyone's coming out of the woodworks, he says, and, and trying to talk to him all the time. And, and now they're becoming way big, bigger fans, which is not a shock because uh, MMA is the fastest rising sport in the world, and, and here at Combate, these fighters, they love to fight, and they come to fight every time with all of their heart, and they leave it all in the cage, all always, in the jaula. They always laugh when it's new, then it becomes cool, and it's like, oh, hey, yeah, let me get in, let yeah, me get in. exactly. Until they start rolling, and they're like, no, wait a minute. Right. A nice oh, flying nice knee. knee, holy Toledo. Right, <laughs> Tijuana. Holy Tijuana. Holy Tijuana. Yeah, there's a, a respectful rivalry now between Monterrey, where Marroquin is from, and Tijuana, where Sabori is not living in training. That's stunned oh, up for one, two. Legs are gone. He got stunned really it was, well. It was the start of that big overhand right that got him into the, the little, doing the little chicken dance. But his legs are strong. They're like yep. tree trunks, those legs. Look at him. He's, he's, he's all there right now. They were wobbly for a moment, but. He's not worried about it. No. Nah. Oh, oh, sit down. Siéntate. Right down the clown's mouth with a straight right hand, says Paolo. Nice body shot by Paolo. Oh, he's trying to creep up in yeah. there. Levy says he loves the style of Dominic Cruz. She admires him a lot. Nice upward elbow. Nice inside leg kick checked by Levy. Straight left answers back with that leg kick. More kicks this round from Sabori. 
landing them. Definitely. They're definitely. Don't take a toll, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially in the round. Just coming at him straight up and down. Kind of needs more more movement in the head or something. Landed a shot. Take down. Take down. Take down. Savori on top. He's a pass that. See the wear and tear on those leg kicks. And his uh, left outside uh, thigh. He's working for the pass. Working hard for the pass, but uh, Levy's got a good guard. He's not letting him pass this time. Back to his feet, Levy goes. Good action between Pablo Sabori, Levy. Saul Marroquin. Marroquin in the blue. Overhand right. Double jab, overhand. Benny misses. Twenty-five-year-old Sabori, bouncing around La Hala. Southpaw stance. The taller fighter in the black. Ooh, way to fuck That's it up nice there with one. that nice head kick by Levy. Brought it up with ease. A lot of ease. Sabori answers one of his own. Uh, uppercut gets hit with the right. Miss, miss. Thank God. Oda took his head off. Another head kick by Paolo. Goes in, tries to clash the party with a double leg, but it's a failed attempt. Another head kick. These guys are flicking him up there. Marroquin. That hit early. 30 seconds ago, he, he said flick. Great word. He's throwing that leg up there. Just flicking it up there. Nice knee to the body. Left answer by Marroquin. The center, La Jaula. Oh! Good action Going for a there. single leg, Paolo, but uh, Levy is strong on his feet. Yeah, he is. You're right. Those are tree trunks he's got for legs. Yep. Final seconds of the second. Good round. These guys are going at it. Hey, both these guys asking the crowd to get into it. Let's go. Why not? Final 445 of the fight. Good back and forth between Savori and Marroquin. Savori in the black. Evenly matched tonight. Combate America is putting them together. Then show me what you have if you want to continue to fight inside La Jaula. Fastest growing promotion in MMA. Jeez. I would not want to get hit with one of those leg kicks. You can see the wear and tear on him too on the outside of his thighs. They're red and bruised. Nice body kick. Followed by an uppercut. He's trying to get out of the way. Nice head movement by Paolo. Nice flicked up kick. Yep. Left landed by Marroquin. The athleticism that Marroquin has. Sure. Age of 21. I, he's 21? Oh my goodness, this guy's a baby in this sport. That's amazing. Started training at the age of 13. Wow, very impressive. Get off me, he says. Lions Alpha team, that frees out of the Monterrey. He checked that leg kick. Going wow. It. it was a little uh, telegraph, but it worked, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever does the trick, it worked. I'd like to see him work that pass on that right side. There he goes for it. And he misses. That's never going to work. He's way too slippery. Yeah. He's a more inexperienced fighter, probably. He's not a game now. Um, oh. He didn't have any amateur fights. He went straight pro, and he's 7-1 and one as a pro. Definitely has less experience than Paolo. But it, you wouldn't be able to tell, judging on this fight. It's been back and forth the entire time. Oh, 
Levy's a little bit stuck here on the ground. He can't get back to his feet right now. Saboli, a graphic designer, went to college for his mom. But he had to go to school, that way he could fight. Background, some characters. Now we'll that's more close guy. to working than the other thing before, but uh, Paolo is very savvy on the ground. Nice omoplata attempt. But, oh. oh, and a nice oh, up kick to the face. That's illegal. Oh. You cannot strike to the face, cannot kick to the face on a down opponent. The corners are asking for him to take two points away. They're asking him to take points away. Let's take a look at the replay. He goes for an omoplata. Paolo gets out of it and he up kicks him straight to the face. And immediate Savoy like, hey. Referee Herzog jumped right on it. Talking to Marokin. Careful, huh? Do not do this. I know you're just pushing me. Yeah, Savoy's going and asking for the points, especially in such a tight fight. 208 to go in the fight. Do you do you want it in the same position? No. No, no, man. What? Own momentum, yeah. Shaking his head as Maro Kane. Translate. Translate. Are they gonna take a point away? No, no, no. He's, or the you want him down in the same position? Doctor? Yeah. You want him in the yeah. same position, okay? He's yeah. ready to fight? Yeah, yeah I'm ready to fight. He's yeah. trying to punch Kiki here. He Somebody jumped on. No, no, no. Herzog talking. I'm going to have you down in the same position. Yeah, it's okay. I'm joking. Take the Herzog like the referee. Just got to give him a bro hug. Yeah. Bro, let me go. Come on. Oh, they're going to start in the same position. We're here, yeah? No, no. Here? Yeah. Here, here. Come here. Yeah, it's yes. here. Position here. they were at. Here. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready? Fight. Time back in. Jason Herzog's an excellent girl. Controlling that out like well tonight. Working numerous fights. The right hand landed by Otto King. Oh, swelling on the right eye of Sabori. Big left hook from Levy. Some little over 90 seconds left in the end of the third round. And this is going to be a hard one. Yeah, this is good back and forth action. Nice takedown. Beautiful takedown. Yes, man. real nice Great work by Sabori. Great takedown. Going to be in trouble on a Kimura if he's not careful, though. That guy's like a little ball of muscle. Marokin in the blue. That ball of muscle. It. Nice Smack. work with the ground and pound off his back. I like to see people Just stay busy on their back. It's also good work by Marokin. Started training because his dad took him at the age of 13 in Monterrey, Mexico. More swelling on the right eye. Of Paulo Sabori, a minute to go in the fight. Now some blood from the nose of Sabori. Aurelia. Elbow Aurelia. from Marokin. Paulo needs to pass. These two Guerreros leaving it all in Salahaola. You can see on their faces the determination, the exhaustion. As 30 seconds are left in the fight. Both digging deep. Paolo needs a pass. Oh, he's got a triangle locked in. Last second. He needs to control the posture of his head. Hitting, hitting a model game. Oh, wow. This is great. Nine seconds left. Final Nine seconds, seconds of the fight. Hit that head. Pounding his model king. Can he steal it right there? <laughs> Final seconds and it's over. They go three hard rounds. Pablo Marroquin, Pablo Samori, Levi Saul Marroquin. Round of big ovation for these two. And they go to the judges. A lot of respect between the fighters from Tijuana and Monterrey, Mexico. Wow. Damas y caballeros, después de tres vueltas, el juez Cota anotó. 29 a 28 a favor de Marroquín, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds. Judge Cota scores it 29-28 in favor of Marroquín. El juez Holtz, 29 a 28 a favor de Sabori. Judge Holtz scores it 29 to 28 in favor of Sabori. Y el juez Figueroa anotó. 29 a 28, Judge Figueroa scores it 29 to 28 in favor of the winner. 
by way of split decision a favor del ganador por decisión dividida. Levi Saúl Marroquí. Gets the split decision. He improves to eight and one.